Okay, uh, calendar on my computer says that it's currently June 8th, 2021. Uh, I wanted to start doing something that would sort of tickle my creative funny bone without too much work. So this isn't going to be like a professional kind of podcast with a co-host and guests and editing anything. I just want to get whatever thoughts down I have today, maybe tomorrow, maybe I won't do another one for two weeks. We'll just these will come along as as I feel like making them. Just my thoughts about what's going on. And just some general topics. There's no clear path here. Um, the movie theaters are looking pretty good down south in the U.S. The last couple weeks have shown that Hollywood's back at it. Uh, what that means down the road for theaters versus streaming services, I don't know. I guess the theaters have been given a lifeline. I'm really into this box office stuff. I like movies. I like numbers. So if you're interested, there's a lot of information you can find online about that stuff. Although you can find you can find information of anything online, you know, especially because for better and for worse, tech regulation is just absolute garbage. Like uh, I saw a funny thing on Instagram the other day. It's going through the Explore tab, which the number one rule of any social media uh, app or website is you don't go through the tab that's curated by people running the app because you usually just get complete trash. But I found a uh, a highlight thread on Instagram of a whole bunch of free shit. And yeah, technically free copyrighted material is illegal, but one of the links was to a Google Drive that was titled Suck My Ass Capitalism. So clearly this is on some level a protest kind of thing. And clearly on another level, it's just, hey, I really want people to be able to see Infinity War or the Shawshank Redemption or whatever the hell people want to get the word out about, you know, especially right now when there's so many different cable channels and so many different streaming services that's a new thing now it's going to be really hard to find movies like especially movies that are within a series like i think you can get a couple of the fast and furious movies on netflix the rest of them you got to get like a special subscription from the cable channel or you find them on dvd or you find them on a google drive link online like Really, you'd be surprised if you looked up some popular movie and just in Google and just put, you know, I'm trying to think, Cruella, Google Drive. You'd be surprised how easy it is to find illicit material. There's a great video on YouTube, like a long time ago. I think it got deleted or something that like explained how torrenting works. And it turns out it, the file sharing starts with like this really elite specific group of people. And like you have to have stuff that's worth showing before they accept you like maybe it's academy insiders or like editors that don't get paid enough to keep copyrighted material safe i don't know but the torrents that you find on the torrent sites not that i support torrenting for legal reasons but the torrents you find on the torrenting sites have been leaked from these elite groups which i find interesting because i don't think the point of the elite groups is piracy on a wide scale level it's just a very specific group of insiders that want to share with each other, which honestly sounds like a lot of capitalism. Like when the common man breaks a certain rule, that's illegal. But when the rich guy does the same thing, oh, that's that's OK. That's for art or commerce or jobs or whatever they're getting at. I don't know. I'm going way off on a tangent here. Uh, the weather's been kind of weird. It's June, which is usually a pretty warm, sunny month. But we've also gotten a lot of cold, rainy, windy days. I don't mind because we had a really, really hot spring here in Vancouver. But yeah, I don't know. Our our Septembers usually tend to be more summery than our Junes at the end of the day. I find at least, you know. Uh, but yeah, they keep building apartment buildings near our house. Our house is going to be home to the ground floor of a skyscraper. Probably sometime within the next five to ten years. I, I've accepted that 
this uh, this bedroom will not exist. I guess I'll take pictures for an almanac or a history textbook down the road. But uh, too many people come into this city. I don't I don't blame them. Climate's mild. The houses uh, the housing prices are actually pretty uh, completely unaffordable. But I mean, I guess if you're coming from somewhere else or you're stinking rich or you want to be a speculative home buyer who buys up six properties here and goes to live in another continent and the government doesn't do too much about it. I don't know. Governments governments like to work in baby steps. That's what I find from following politics and stuff. And sometimes that's okay. A lot of times the problems are too big to take things with baby steps. But I think at the end of the day, you just got to take what you can get. Just in life in general. I feel like I got to work on that too. Just accept the hand that's been dealt. You know, because every once in a while you can win the poker game with a pair. Or even a high card. And sometimes, even if that high card's like a fucking eight, you never know when something that looks like it's not going to be enough is going to be enough. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, yeah, I might, uh, I might put another one of these out tomorrow. This is just a chance for me to rant, let my my thoughts go wild. Yeah.